You're right there, LGU. It is Krakoon again, bringing you another gameplay <laughs> commentary, man. And today we're going to be bringing you something a little bit different. And the reason I'm bringing you this as well is because I saw a gameplay uploaded to LGU not too long ago. And it was exactly what I was thinking of bringing to LGU anyway. And I personally absolutely love this game. And he, uh, the other guy, obviously liked it as well. But the fact of the matter is this is Grand Theft Auto, online, multiplayer, whatever you want to call it. Playing matches with other people and shit. This is a this is actually a a, a specific uh, if I can a word a specific game mode called Cops and Crooks and obviously the title pretty much says it all. It's a uh, essentially one time. It's kind of think of it as in like a search and destroy round. Yeah, I'm I don't know why I'm gonna say it in COD terms, but that's what I'm seeing it as. But think of it as in like you get two search and destroy rounds. One round you like offensive trying to get to a getaway vehicle i.e. being the crooks the second round you're the cops i.e. trying to defend and not let them get to the getaway vehicle so i don't know that's pretty much how i would explain it to Wages to maybe try and understand and here at the moment as you can obviously see we're the crooks obviously trying to get away from the cops and we're literally just blasting everywhere i'm rolling with my boy here who's driving so me and him are on the hook, hook up trying to communicate between each other and decide where we're going and everything like that. But what I really want to say about Grand Theft Auto 4 multiplayer is, man, I think it actually does offer a very unique, uh, unmimicable experience for online gameplay. And I don't know why. Maybe it's something to do with the whole uh, open sandbox kind of world and everything like that and kind of almost as if it's got limitless possibilities but essentially man I just love what all the game modes offer and everything like that I'll, I'll give a couple to you now which are pretty interesting right there's one called Team Mafia Work and essentially you're online multiplayer with about like it can go up to I think about 16 people and then you split into like teams of two or something like that, and essentially you work within the uh, you work for this uh, character within the game who's meant to be a mafia boss within like obviously within Liberty City. And I don't know, it's pretty interesting really how like they include these kind of big multiplayer game modes within the online uh, no these big single player game modes online in multiplayer and everything like that so what that being said i was kind of thinking about so what's kind of offering that today and I specifically remembered that uh robert bowling was talking about this within survivor mode or i'm not sure whether it was survivor mode or spec ops or something like that but i'm pretty sure he did say survivor mode and we've seen the trailer now and everything like that and you saw like juggernauts coming down and he added like kind of tenseness to the gameplay and everything so it was pretty interesting, really. It was pretty interesting to, like, see how, like, Rockstar has kind of already brought that to with in their online multiplayer and everything like that, like, long before, like, well, obviously quite a while before Infinity Ward's already done that. But obviously here as well, I'm actually just trying to swim about in the water. We've reached the getaway boat. It's a boat this time, and it varies between either a boat or a helicopter. And... Essentially, we're just here swimming about trying to get the trying to wait for this cop to go away because he's shooting at us. And we hijack this boat and then I kill him, I think, and then we go around and pick up the other boat. But I thought, uh, I thought this, uh, this teammate I was running with, he's uh, I thought he was gonna go get the boat anyway, so we just I ended up swimming away trying to save my life, and then uh, pretty much. They, uh, they proceeded to be able to not kill me or anything like that. And then we hijacked a boat, as I said. And if I've not already said as well, I'm actually the boss within this segment. And this is where the gameplay kind of uh, fervent, uh, if I can get my words out, kind of deepens a little bit more. Because there's two types of game modes within this Cops and Crooks. And if I just take a sip of my water, there's two types of game modes within this Cops and Crooks. And... There's a specific one as in it is actually a search and destroy type of method as in you're all the same kind of figure of crook you could say and essentially if you die you die and that's it and you've got to see how many of your 
can make it to the getaway vehicle. Or, in this game mode, which we're playing in now, it's more of kind of like uh, a mafia family, you could say. And then it's like a boss, and then you've got loads of mafia, like, henchmen or something like that. And then, if the boss dies, the game ends. But uh, if you're w not the boss and you're one of, like, the henchmen, then uh, you proceed to be able to respawn on top of that. So, it's pretty interesting how they offer, like more depth within the game uh within the multiplayer as well because a lot of other game modes have like specific individual facts that you can kind of tweak about it and stuff like that so it gets proper in depth within online multiplayer so i know i've kind of been bragging about the game for a while now and i've pretty much just kind of not stopped talking about it because i don't know it's kind of a love that you get for it and since i was like Ever since I was like kind of a gamer or anything like that, PS2 has always been my shit and it was always Grand Theft Auto, well no, it was Grand Theft Auto, Vice City and then San Andreas and then obviously when we went over, because obviously switched to the Xbox, I then picked up Grand Theft Auto 4, but obviously that was released on the PS3 as well, but that's a different matter, but essentially from then I've always seemed to absolutely love the way the game plays and the essence of the game and everything and essentially if you've never played this game before i would definitely recommend going out and purchasing it or renting it or something like that because you can actually buy a uh i've got all the dlcs as well so i might bring you different game modes from all dscs and shit but essentially you can buy add-ons and dlcs there's two dlcs the lost and damned and the Ballad of Gay Tony, and they're pretty interesting adding on to the factor, and they all intertwine within the main story, so you've got to really take it for what it is, and understand that this is like an episodic kind of game that's for the ages, and that's why there's always like a big gap kind of between games before they get released and everything, because that's how much the fans and the hardcore fans absolutely love it. And I wouldn't even call myself a hardcore fan. I just kind of call myself an avid lover of the game or some shit like that. So it's all interesting, really. But then again, on the other side of that, there is a bit of a, a problem with some of the game modes within uh, Grand Theft Auto IV or whatever you want to call it. And here I actually killed a boss and then... I think I end the round pretty much instantaneously, so the round ends in fact, so this commentary is going to be over, but what I was going to say was, as you do with most games, there are people that try to influence it and hack, so you may run into hackers every now and again in online multiplayer, but anyway, that's the end of the gameplay slash commentary, I went 5-0 and for GTA IV, I don't even know, but anyway, peace!